This is the easiest solo tombstone glitch. No, you won't need a scorcher. You'll keep your money, your backpack, weapons, and everything else. And this is how you do it. Step one, in the lobby, fill up your bag with everything you want to duplicate with the tombstone glitch. It's worth throwing a stamina perk can and a tombstone perk can in there so you can duplicate them for later and the process will be insanely quick next time you do this. If you don't have any decent loot to take into a game with you, it's all good. We've got over 6,500 players in our Discord who are all dropping loot for each other, hopping into games, doing missions and other glitches. So come on in and get some of this loot. Step two, okay, now you've got your stuff, drop into a game and get yourself a little bit of cash. Minimum, you'll want 5,000. But you'll probably want a little spending money in your tombstone as well, so just keep going until you're satisfied. If you drop in with somebody from our Discord, most of them are running with max essence, so I'm sure they will help you out. Three, now you've got your cash, you'll want to buy yourself the tombstone perk and you'll need the stamina up perk too. Both of these cost 2k each, but once you've duplicated your items, you'll be able to drink these straight from your bag next game. Step four, so this is where the glitch comes in. Head over to the bad signal portal and before we do anything there, you'll see directly opposite of the portal, you have a gray and blue building. Head over there, go through the double doors, go through the second set of double doors, through the courtyard and the last set of double doors. Now take the stairs up to your left, then in front of you on the left wall, you'll see a big window. This becomes a portal when you get close enough. So what you want to do at this portal is shoot these exact images on screen in this order. Once you've done that, back up a bit and spend the 1K to activate the portal, but do not go through it yet. Okay, step five. Now you've activated that portal by shooting the runes, it's time to run back to the bad signal portal and activate it. This will begin the countdown. And now for the final time, run back to the portal in the gray and blue building and go straight through it. You've got the stamina up to make this easier, but I did cheat a bit here and use a quad bike, which really helped out. When you get to the portal, just run through it. Step six, after entering the portal, you'll appear in a small room. Just jump through this window and keep running in a straight line. You have to keep an eye on the timer for the bad signal portal. Once it hits two seconds, go into your map and hit yes. Don't do this on three seconds and don't do it on one. It's very important that it's done exactly at two seconds. Once you've done that, keep running in a straight line until you're out of bounds. You'll get the portal loading screen and then straight after you'll get an elimination screen. On the elimination screen, you'll just need to hard quit your game. The timing for leaving the game isn't as tight as it was. You can see that I was quite slow with it. So now just load back up and you'll see you have all your items. Unfortunately, that stash glitch is still patched, but we'll have a workaround soon enough. But until then, just drop into a new game, use your items, play a full game, then when you're ready, go collect your tombstone items and do it all again. But obviously this time, it'll be considerably quicker because you'll have the perks in your bag. So go have fun, hit subscribe or follow, depending on where you're watching this, and thanks for watching.